هاي I am Chief Officer of Motor Vessel Aman, Muhammad Aisha. I've been on board the ship since May 2017. I have to swim to shore every two or three days to charge my phone and to get food or water. Please help. The general cargo ship MV Aman was detained at the Suez Anchorage in Egypt back in July 2017. At the time, the chief officer, Mohamed Aisha, who hails from Syria, had been on board for only two months. Now, almost four years later, he is still on board the ship, completely alone and trapped in a situation which is worse than prison. Life like if you're stuck in solitary prison, you can see some rodents sometimes flies and mosquitoes and the night it's like a grave you can't see anything you can't hear anything the Bahraini flag MV Aman was detained by the Egyptian port state authorities due to expired safety equipment and certificates in all that time it appears no action has been done by the ship's owners to resolve the deficiencies which led to the prolonged detention Eventually, the rest of the crew were sent home last October, and since then, Aisha has been alone on the ship, with no electricity and no supplies. An Egyptian court appointed him as the ship's legal guard, which means he and the ship are legally bound together until it either gets sold or somebody else comes to replace him. Aisha says he signed the order without realizing what it really meant, and now the port authorities are holding his Syrian passport, which prevents him from leaving. I've lost my mother two years ago and she's never going to see me again because of this damn discursed ship. All I want is to go back home to my family. The ship's owner, Bahrain-based Tylos Shipping and Marine Services, practically abandoned MV Aman. In March of last year, the ship ran aground due to rough weather and since December 2020, no one has provided Aisha with fresh water food or diesel oil, which forced him to swim to shore every few days to get supplies and to charge his phone, risking his life every time he does so. I have to swim to shore every two or three days to charge my phone and to get food or water. Please help. At present, there are over 250 cases of seafarer abandonment according to the International Labor Organization with ship owners in difficulty seemingly willing to leave their crew to fend for themselves. This situation of Mohammed is unjust. No one can accept that Mohammed has been forgotten. Is this the case? Has been forgotten on board? Because the owner, he has abandoned the ship. This is his decision. The court of Egypt has appointed Mohammed as a legal guard of the ship. Uh, Mohammed is alone on board of the ship with no water, no electricity, who has to assume the responsibility? A representative of the ship's owner, Tyler Shipping and Marine Services, told BBC on an interview that they have tried to help Aisha, but, and I quote, can't force a judge to remove the legal guardianship, and I can't find a single person on this planet, and I've tried, to replace him. I think after him signing the legal guardian part, he's on his own. But things could change soon. The International Transport Workers Federation, or ITF, has offered to pay for hotels and flights so that Mohammed Aisha can go home. But according to them, the Egyptian authorities have yet to act to change his situation. The ship is also up for auction, and if it gets sold, Mohammed Aisha could soon be free. When asked if after all of this, would he still go back to sea? Yes, of course. Uh, I am a chief mate. Before I came uh, here to the ship, I was one step away from being a captain. 
like I said, I love my job and I am good at it. And my former colleagues will tell you that. But this uh, nightmare, I still don't understand how this is this happened to me.